they, I, it might need the <laughs> help. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name's Chloe and welcome to my channel. So if you hadn't seen my last video, I had done a university haul. I was going through the things that were going in my bedroom and in my bathroom. And this video is basically going to be the things that are kitchenware, utensils, all that kind of jazz. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave the link in the description down below. I'll also leave it linked at the end of this video so you can go and watch that if you want to. So before I get into anything, I'll just give you a brief overview of what's happening. This is my accommodation. If you watched my last video, you would have seen some of these pictures. I am going to be going to Falmouth University. I'm doing marine and natural history photography. I am very, very excited. If you want to follow my journey, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's free, so why wouldn't you want to also before we get on with the video make sure you like this video because why not i made my own list of things that i felt like i needed to take to university so if you guys want that list feel free to dm me on instagram my instagram is aka underscore clo underscore bow the same as my youtube channel i'll leave a link in the description down below and here is my instagram sticker if you want to follow me yeah I mean, I have a pretty boring life, so I don't know why you would, but is there the options there? So I'm going to start off with Tupperware boxes. So I've got two different type of Tupperware boxes. I've got these ones here, which are from Ikea. I think we paid silly money, like three, four pound, maybe. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. But I did do an Ikea haul video. So if you really want to know the price of them, you can go check that one out as well. I believe this has got 17 boxes. I think that's what I counted last time. And then I've got a pack of five that have the clips on the side. These were three pound from home bargains. These ones are going to kind of be a bit more useful for storing stuff like rice in or anything like that but these are kind of be more like lunchbox kind of things, leftover food. So instead of getting normal pans we basically got like this saucepan set and it's got like a removable handle so you can put it on any of the pans that you want. It also means it's going to store better and I won't have random pans hanging out everywhere. I also... That. I also forgot to say that my mum did go out and buy a lot of these things on offer so a lot of things I don't know the price for mum just bought them she saw they were half price so she picked them up that is one thing I do suggest when you go to university I guess it's harder if you don't know if you're going but if you do know you're 100% going to university in September as soon as you know start buying stuff on discounts and on deals because it's gonna turn out so much cheaper than if you go and buy it all in one go it's Especially if you've got the amount of stuff that I have. Like, I think I've got so much unnecessary stuff, but... So we also picked up a load of baking trays because I really enjoy baking. It's definitely something I do want to do when I'm down in Falmouth. Um, whether that's just making cakes for the sake of making cakes or if I decide I want to make someone a birthday cake or just because I want to indulge, I don't know. This is a five piece set. I'm not too sure how much this was from Tesco's, but it's a Tesco's basics one. I know it would have been cheap anyway. So I also wanted a pizza tray. So we've got a pizza tray. I don't know how many people actually cook their pizzas on pizza trays, but I'm definitely one of those people that uses a pizza tray, so. I've got a set of kitchen knives that come with a pair of scissors as well. I have no idea how good these are actually gonna be, um, but I think they're all right. I think these were from TK Maxx as well. You can get a lot of really good things from TK Maxx. They have so much like really good branded stuff for really, really cheap prices. So definitely go and have a little look in TK Maxx if you're looking for some things in specific. Is it specific? I think it's specific, specific, whatever the word is, you get my drift. So we picked up this colander from B&M, it's just one of those ones that you can pop out, so it's really good for storage, again, it just folds away and doesn't take up much room. So this was £1.99, which is, which is pretty decent. We picked up some bigger scissors as well, just because we didn't know how good those smaller scissors were going to be. I always love that with scissors, you need a pair of scissors to get the scissors out of the packaging. It's always the way, isn't it? Confusing. I've also got a pizza cutter as well. I have no idea how good this is going to be, but this is from Ikea. This was as cheap as chips, as is everything from Ikea. I got an ice cream spoon. 
if you saw my IKEA video, you would have seen that in that as well. We then got a can opener just in case I need to use it. I'm horrendous at opening cans with a can opener anyway, so I'm just planning on trying to buy the pool, the ones with the pool loops. It might be needed, so. I uh, also got one of those silicone spatulas for when I do do some baking. Oh yeah, and we also got a whisk. I've no idea how good this is gonna be. If I'm actually baking with this, that's gonna take so long. Like imagine making meringues, like that just does not work. I also got a set of scales. I have absolutely no idea how much mum paid for these either. They're just like small ones, flat pack ones, so that will hopefully fit in my cupboard quite nicely. We try to not pick too many bulky things up because I know my storage space is going to be limited. I also picked up a potato peeler because you need a potato peeler sometimes. We also picked up a tray. I have no idea why we picked up a tray. We just did. I think it was like one pound, so just in case it's needed. Picked up some prongs. We got these from Ikea as well. This was like 75p, really, really cheap. I have no idea how good they're actually gonna be. I have a feeling they might melt because they're plastic, but for the sake of 75p. We also picked up some Tesco basic kits. We also picked up some Tesco basics utensils. So I've got a potato masher in there. I've got a ladle, um, some spoons, a spatula, a spoon with holes in it. So, so we've picked up some chopping boards from Sainsbury's. I was here for when mum bought them, but we bought them so long ago, I have no idea how much we paid for them. I think they were in the reduced section. We picked up a 24 piece, I'm gonna say it wrong. So we also picked up some cutlery. I know I just said that wrong, but that's the way I say it. So, so yeah, so we've picked up some knives, forks and spoons. These were £5 from Sainsbury's. It's a 24 piece set as well, so hopefully they don't go walk about. Picked up an egg timer as well, because I like using an egg timer when I'm cooking or baking. I just prefer using it personally, but that's just the way I am. Oh yeah, we also picked up a kitchen roll holder, just in case. I like using kitchen roll when I'm in the kitchen, just because I prefer using it than towels sometimes. So like if I drop some egg or some cake mix I can just clean it up with some kitchen towel rather than a natural towel because then it will go a bit manky. We picked up some oven gloves as well so I don't burn myself because I have done that many times. So we've also got a measuring jug. This one... Oh my god what am I saying today? So we also picked up a measuring jug. This was from Ikea. I think this was something ridiculous like 75p again. And I've also got some kitchen towels as well. I might need to get more than four, I don't know. Also they're white, so they're probably gonna get ruined. I didn't really think this through, but. I've also bought two flasks because I'm gonna be needing to use water bottles when I'm away and these will keep things hot when they're hot and cold when they're cold. They last really long as well and they're good for the environment, so. I reckon I'm going to start making a whole stash of these, you know. I've also picked up some travel mugs as well. I've got two different ones, a ceramic one, so I need to be a bit careful with this. But I just really liked it because it's just current in the trend with saving the planet and all that kind of stuff. And then I've got some other mugs as well. So these were just mugs that were lying around the house. Mum bought me this mug as well. I think it's really, really nice. I hope I don't break it or anything. And now I honestly feel like these are probably the most expensive thing that I've actually bought and paid full price for. I kind of have a small addiction for Disney mugs. I always, always, always use a Disney mug. I'm forever buying myself Disney mugs, so I wanted my own Disney mugs to take to university with me. So I bought a Marie Disney mug. I was going to go for an Eeyore one, but I always go for Eeyore mugs, so I decided to go for Marie because she's my second favourite Disney character. This was £9, which is so bad, but I love Disney mugs. And they do, they are very long lasting. They're quite thick as well. They're, I've never had a mug break actually. Touch wood. Let's not jinx it. I then also bought this mug as well. It says I heart my dog in the middle of it and it's got loads of the Disney character dogs on it. And I just thought this was gonna be a really good soup mug. Big and it's bulky and I just thought it'd be great for soup. So this is my new soup mug. This was 10 pounds as well. So the only thing left to show you is my cups, my bowls and my plates. So I did originally treat myself to some John Lewis 
plates and bowls they were in the sale at Christmas and I saw them they were half price and I was literally like and then I kind of had a realization a few weeks ago that I didn't really want to take these really lovely expensive plates and bowls because I've heard stories where people don't clean up and your bowls get thrown in the bin or what happens is your roommates use your bowls and stuff and then they don't clean them and you don't realise and then you come back and they're completely ruined. Bought myself some bamboo plates and bowls. So I have four plates, I have four bowls, I also have four cups. This is just in case anybody fancies staying over as well so I've not just got stuff for myself because hopefully I will have visitors hopefully so this plate was supposed to be 4 99 and i got them for one pound 99 each and they're they are pretty thick they feel pretty sturdy to be fair i know i can't get a huge meal on that but again when i'm at uni i'm going to be having to think about portion sizes and stuff because i won't have the money to just continuously eat and have big portions of food this is probably the saddest part <laughs> And it was the same with the bowls. I think the bowls were also £1.99 as well. Likewise with the cups. So I think I paid something like £17 for all of this. So that's a bargain in my eyes. And hopefully they don't break. But if they do, they're biodegradable. So it's all good. Eco-friendly. So that's everything that I've got for my kitchen. If you think I'm missing anything, please comment down below what you think I'm missing. And I'll probably go get it. I did buy things that I felt like I needed, but if you think there's anything that I will find useful, then suggest away. So if you want to go check out my other videos like my Ikea haul or my university haul for my bedroom and bathroom, feel free to go check them out. I'll link them down in the description below. I'll also leave them linked at the end of this video. University is getting so close now. I'm so, so excited. I just can't wait to go down to Cornwall and just be by the beach and be in a completely different area and get to know new people. I'm just so excited for the whole experience. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you again to all my new subscribers. It's very much appreciated. Thank you ever so much for watching this video again and have a good week.